Alright guys, there's the paint, in case you want to know what it is. It's Duplicolor, metal spec. Uh, for most of you guys in the US, it's available or at any auto parts store, you just need to look at it. Look for it, sometimes they keep it in a locked up cabinet, sometimes they don't. Uh, they didn't even card me about this, so... So, and I probably looked weird being a guy with no car and a book bag going in there buying spray paint. Uh, that's the color of the cap, since it's metal spec. Now, it looks a lot better than that, as you guys have probably seen since the previous video, but... So, alright, um, Paulo, I know you can probably... I've seen this on Amazon.com and other websites, so you can get it. I don't know about internationally, but I guess you can get it imported. So, alright, guys, that's enough of that, showing you the paint. But, um, it's actual automotive paint, and... That's how it looks when it's on the cap. I say, I recommend you be careful because, again, the thinner it is, the more it drips and stuff. So, so all right, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you me painting this in real time. So, all right, guys, see you in a sec. All right, guys, got it ready. Got the paint in my hand. She's all shook up. Know where the nozzle is? There's my nozzle. Just real thin, back and forth, and then I also do side to side a little bit. And then the cool thing is, because it's in the box, I'm not getting any of it on the patio. And then, the fumes stay in the box. So keep it real easy, and I'll wait for that to dry. It takes a couple of minutes. So... So there's that, and then I'll also show you how the soda can came out too. As you can tell, it goes on pretty easy, pretty nice, dries pretty quick. Another thing, if you're painting outside guys, I don't know about your neighborhood, but there's a lot of kids around here, so I never really leave my spray can sitting around. Again, that spray can, primer can, uh, uh, spray remover, I don't leave it sitting around, I don't want to chance it because I don't want anybody getting burned. That stuff is good enough to, you know, burn this hair off, you know, it, it won't put the hair on your chest, it'll remove it, but, so there it is, uh, not sure if I got runs in my paint yet, but let it dry and then I'll turn it on its sides, so, okay guys, that's it for this one. Alright guys, there's the soda can that I sprayed on, now you see how it's kind of nice and smooth on the can, alright. Time to do the side of the truck. Alright, so here's about as close as I'm going to get. That's the can shaking. So, watch everybody. I'm doing this through my uh, looking through it. So I can't tell at what angle the camera is. So I hope you get a good view, but... So just be smooth with it. Another key thing is let it dry. For this, I'm guessing maybe 10 to 5 to 10 minutes, 15 at the most. It dries quick. So, and it's only about 50 degrees out here. So, I'll try to get you guys a little bit closer into the truck. So that's it. You know, wet. I'll give it a lot of time to dry. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess up the paint job. So. Alright, this is probably going to be a quick, well, a long video. So, come back and I'll show you the other side. And then I may also do the front and the rear. Probably do the front and the rear too. So, you'll get to see me spraying those up too. Well, Alright guys, that's it for this part. See you in a few seconds. Alright guys, here's it drying. So, what I found was, you don't really get a nice cover when you do the sides. So what you should do is just spray it close. You know, get like about here with your can, so that the spray is pretty close. Get to about here, and you want to try to go over with your overspray. 
and that'll get it. Unfortunately, you'll get your smoothest co uh, coating on your roof and your hood and trunk area. So that's that. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll show you the results. And you'll also get to see a little bit of where I live in the results part of it once this baby's all dry. So, again, that's the box I'm using. I got it at Home Depot for free. You know, I just took it. They didn't say anything about it. So, I'm going to go put my spray paint up because I don't want anybody to touch it. You know, don't want a little kid tagging around, you know, green, metal flake, metal speck, you know, obscenities. So, so all right, guys. I think I bored you enough with this video. Well, there you are, guys. There's it all sprayed. Now, it's got some runs in it. It's not perfect. You can't really see the runs too well, but she's got some runs in it. She's not perfect. The hood's got a run in it. But that's kind of cool, actually, the way the run is. Uh, engine hood, or bonnet, for you European guys. It's pretty cool. You can kind of see the metal flake. My phone's not the greatest at showing that, but you can see the metal specs. There's the side. I uh, didn't really spray the sides, as you guys know. If you put it on the can, it'll get it. Um, it's better than a paint stand, so... Now, these things really shimmer in the sunlight. I think it'd be better if they use this for the green machines. On the uh, green lights. But there's the neighborhood. There's where I'm living, my neighbors. I don't really see too much of them, you know. So this is pretty much it, Paulo. There's a little taste of the USA for you. This is a pretty, pretty average park, trailer park, I'd say. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this, Paulo. I mostly did this for you because you wanted to see the results of the truck. Uh, I'm gonna do some more detailing on it, give it some headlights, give it the uh, fog lights, give it some brake lights. You know put the interior back together put it all back together so um hope you enjoyed man uh it was a fun video to do i'm glad i could help you a little bit if this helps uh you know comment down below and that goes for everybody else who's watching this man uh comment down below so well, all right guys as you see my mom's ride my mom's hot wheel back there so all right thanks for watching hope it helped